All right, so uh, today let's take a deep dive into something pretty interesting. The Tron cryptocurrency token, or TRX as it's known. You might see some memes flying around about it lately, but there's actually a lot more to Tron than you might think. What's really got my attention is that after being kind of under the radar for a while, Tron is suddenly making headlines. Yeah, that's right. Tron is a platform that's built to support decentralized applications. And its native token TRX is used for all the transactions that happen within that ecosystem. And the big question we're going to try to answer today is why is Tron suddenly the talk of the town? Exactly. We've got a whole bunch of YouTube videos here from yeah. crypto commentators, analysts, enthusiasts, and they're all buzzing about Tron. It's almost like Tron is having its Solana moment, yeah. you know? <laughs> And we're going to try to figure out why. Well, one of the biggest reasons has got to be the explosion of meme coins on the Tron blockchain. Remember what happened with Solana? Its popularity just skyrocketed when it became like a haven for meme coins. And it seems like Tron is kind of following in its footsteps. It's crazy how these meme coins can have such a massive impact. I mean, Tron even overtook Cardano in the top 10 cryptocurrencies by market cap just recently. And a lot of that is thanks to all this hype around meme coins. It's a bit of a wild west out there right now. The leading meme coin on Tron on is called Sundog. And get this, it already has a market cap of over $200 million. That just goes to show you the kind of speculative energy that's driving this whole trend. Yeah, and you can't forget about Justin Sun, the founder of Tron on. He's definitely not afraid to stir the pot. He actually launched a whole platform called Sun Pump specifically for launching and trading meme coins on Tron. And on top of that, he's offering a $10 million incentive program to really boost that meme coin ecosystem. Make sure you visit BrianGarvin.com, that's Brian with an I, and get your free affiliate guide titled 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate, over 12,300 words of life-changing information. Simply submit your name and email and click the verification link sent to your email address. The link for this is in Brian's YouTube bio. It's a pretty bold move for sure, but it seems to be working. Some people are even saying that Sundog could be the first Tron-based meme coin to reach a $1 billion market cap. Wow, that's mind-blowing. But it does make you wonder, though, does all this meme coin mania actually translate into real value for Tron and TRX in the long run? That's the million dollar question. While the meme coins are grabbing all the headlines, Tron's real strength might actually lie in something much more down to earth stable coins. Ah, uh, yes. Tron has kind of quietly become a major player in the stable coin space. Yeah. Especially when it comes to Tether or USDT. What's really interesting here is that Tron is now the most popular blockchain for transferring USDT. And it's all because of Tron's low fees and its wide support on different exchanges. It makes it super easy and efficient to move stablecoins around. Yeah, we're not talking about small amounts here either. Huh. Last year, over $40 billion worth of USDT was circulating on the Tron blockchain. That's a massive amount of real-world usage. And it's a pretty strong sign that Tron is gaining real adoption and has potential for the future. Exactly. And all that activity with stablecoins isn't just good for Tron's reputation. It actually directly impacts the price of TRX. All those transactions contribute to burning TRX tokens, and that can make the remaining tokens more valuable. So if you're looking for a cryptocurrency that actually has real-world use cases beyond just speculation, Tron's dominance in the stablecoin market is a pretty big point in its favor. Make sure you visit BrianGarvin.com, that's Brian with an I, and get your free affiliate guide titled 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate, over 12,300 words of life-changing information. Simply submit your name and email and click the verification link sent to your email address. The link for this is in Brian's YouTube bio. Absolutely. But we can't really talk about Tron without addressing the elephant in the room. It's yeah. founder Justin Sun. He's, uh, he's definitely a controversial figure, to say the least. I'm really curious to hear your take on how Justin Sun's personality and his past actions kind of influence how people see Tron there. Well, Sun has a bit of a reputation for aggressive marketing tactics, and he's been involved in his fair share of controversies over the years, accusations of plagiarism, charges from the SEC. He's definitely a polarizing figure in the crypto community. Some people really admire his boldness and his ambition, while others are a bit more skeptical of his methods. I see what you mean. It's kind of like a love him or hate him yeah. situation. I mean, there was that time he bid millions of dollars just to have lunch with Warren Buffett. And then yeah. there was the whole thing with him acquiring BitTorrent. He definitely knows how to grab headlines. He does. But let's shift gears for a moment and actually talk about the technology behind Tron because it actually has some pretty impressive capabilities. Okay, let's dive into that. What makes Tron stand out from a technical standpoint? Well, one of the key factors is its speed. Tron uses a Delegated Proof-of-Stake Consensus Mechanism, or DPoS for short. Mm -hmm. And this allows it to process transactions much faster than some other blockchains out there. 
I've heard that Tron can handle something like 10,000 transactions per second. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Well, it kind of depends on who you ask. Some sources say it's a bit lower, around 2,500 transactions per second. But even at that rate, it's still significantly faster than a lot of other platforms out there, including Ethereum. And speaking of Ethereum, I noticed that Tron actually overtook Ethereum in daily fee revenue. That's a pretty big accomplishment, isn't it? It is. It suggests that Tron is being used for real-world transactions and not just speculation. But it also raises the question of sustainability. Can Tron keep this momentum going, or is this just a temporary thing? That's a really good question. And this brings us to another interesting point. The trade-off between speed and decentralization. Tron's DPoS system, with its limited number of validators, has raised some concerns about centralization. That's right. Tron only relies on 27 super representatives to validate transactions. This makes the network very efficient, but it also makes it potentially more vulnerable to attacks or manipulation. There was even an investigation a few years ago that showed how Tron could potentially be taken down by a single computer attack because of this limited number of validators. That's a little bit worrying. It is. It really highlights that inherent tension between scalability and security that you find in blockchain technology. Is sacrificing decentralization for speed and lower cost really worth it in the long run? That's something to think about as you learn more about Tron. Make sure you visit BrianGarbin.com, that's Brian with an I, and get your free affiliate guide titled 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Over 12,300 words of life-changing information. Simply submit your name and email and click the verification link sent to your email address. The link for this is in Brian's YouTube bio. Yeah, it's definitely something to consider. Yeah. So let's shift our focus now. What's coming up next for Tron? What are the key developments that could really shape its future? Well, one of the most ambitious things on their roadmap is this plan to build a layer two solution for Bitcoin. I'm really interested in this. What exactly are they trying to do here? It's really quite fascinating. Basically, they want to build a bridge between the Tron blockchain and the Bitcoin blockchain so they can interact seamlessly. And what could that mean? Why is that such a big deal? Well, imagine being able to transfer USDT on the Bitcoin blockchain, but with Tron's speed and low costs. That's the kind of potential we're talking about. It could be a real game changer. Yeah, that would be huge for adoption. Mm -hmm. But how are they going to make that happen? It sounds super complicated. It's a, And then the final stage is actually launching the Layer 2 solution itself. The details are still kind of vague, but it looks like this Layer 2 is going to integrate somehow with the BitTorrent chain, which is another really interesting piece of the Tron ecosystem. It sounds like they're putting all these different pieces together to create a really powerful network. But with all this talk about ambition and potential, we also need to be realistic about the challenges that Tron is facing. You're right. There are definitely hurdles to overcome. One of the biggest ones is regulation. Remember all those allegations about USDT being used for illegal stuff on Tron? Yeah, those were some serious accusations. Yeah. But it felt like a lot of it was just speculation and fear mongering. Well, to be fair, Tron and Tether have been working to fight crypto crime. They've even partnered with a crypto analytics firm called TRM Labs, which has strong ties to U.S. government agencies. So they're definitely trying to address those concerns. So it seems like they're trying to get on the good side of regulators. But even if they manage to do that, there's still the issue of censorship. If Justin Sun still has a lot of control over Tron, couldn't he be pressured by authorities to censor transactions or freeze assets? It's a valid concern. That possibility of censorship really undermines the whole idea of decentralization and financial freedom that crypto is supposed to be about. And that regulatory pressure could get even worse as Tron grows and becomes more intertwined with traditional finance. It's a bit of a double-edged sword. The more mainstream adoption Tron gets, the more vulnerable it becomes to outside forces. Mm. What are some of the other challenges that Tron is up against right now? Well, the competition is really heating up. Tron isn't the only player in the stablecoin game anymore. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Other blockchains are starting to see how powerful stablecoins can be. For example, there's Toncoin, which is integrated with the messaging app Telegram. It's already minted over a billion USDT since March. So it's definitely a serious contender. And then there's Solana, which is also making some big moves in the stablecoin world. Even PayPal launched its PYUSD stablecoin on Solana, specifically for payments. Exactly. So the competition is getting pretty intense, and that could put a damper on Tron's dominance. Plus, there's the issue of Tron's reputation, which has been kind of tarnished by all those past controversies. Yeah, that's true. All those accusations of plagiarism, the SEC charges Justin Sun's sometimes weird behavior. It's all part of Tron's history, right. and it's hard to just ignore it makes you wonder if Tron can really overcome its past and gain wider acceptance. It's a question only time can answer. 
Despite all the challenges, though, there's a real sense of excitement and momentum building around Tron. A lot of that has to do with its embrace of meme coins. It's almost like Tron is trying to rebrand itself, trying to shed its old image and present itself as a platform that's innovative and fun, maybe even a little bit edgy. Meme coins might seem silly, but they're bringing in a whole new generation of crypto users, and they're injecting some much-needed energy into the space. For Tron, it's a chance to tap into that energy and reposition itself for the future. But it's not just meme coins that are driving Tron's momentum. We're also seeing a big increase in on-chain activity and adoption. You're right. As we mentioned before, Tron has already overtaken Ethereum when it comes to daily fee revenue. That's a clear sign that people are using Tron for real-world transactions. And a big part of that is thanks to its dominance in the stablecoin market. It's like a positive feedback loop. The more people use Tron, the more TRX gets burned, which could drive up the price. And that attracts even more users. Exactly. And that brings us to the big question. What's next for Tron? Will it be able to keep this momentum going? and become the leader in the stablecoin and DeFi world, or will it get overshadowed by the competition and held back by its past? Those are some really interesting questions, and we're going to dig deeper into those in the next part of our deep dive. We'll be taking a closer look at TRX's price action, its potential for growth, and what it all means for you. All right, so let's talk about the numbers. TRX has been doing really well lately, mm -hmm. even when the rest of the crypto market has been kind of shaky. It really has. Since about March of 2020, TRX has been growing steadily. Even when the rest of the market was having those crazy ups and downs, Tron just kept going up. Yeah, it's like it's on a whole different path. Yeah. What's driving that kind of unique price action? Well, remember all those non-crypto use cases for USDT that we were talking about? Payments, savings, a safe haven from all those volatile currencies. Those are some of the big factors that are contributing to Tron's growth. It's a attracting people who are looking for real world applications, not just trying to make a quick buck. And that real world use is reflected in what's happening with the supply and demand of TRX itself. Exactly. On the supply side, we've got a deflationary token. All that burning of TRS that we talked about means that the supply is actually shrinking by about 3% every year. Okay. And what about the demand side? Well, as more people use Tron for things like stablecoin transactions and other applications, the demand for TRX naturally goes up. So basically, we've got a decreasing supply and an increasing demand. Mm. The classic recipe for price increases. That's it. And if you look at the charts, TRX looks like it's ready for even more gains. It's forming what's called a cup and handle pattern, which is a bullish signal that usually comes before a big price breakout. Okay. I have to admit, I'm not really a chart expert. Can you explain that a bit more? What does a cup and handle pattern actually tell us about where TRX might be headed? Sure. It's basically a pattern that you see on price charts over time, and it often means that the momentum is shifting from a period where the price has been pretty stable to a potential upward trend. And in Tehran's case, this particular cup and handle pattern has been forming for a while now, actually all the way back to early 2021. Wow. So based on that pattern, how high could TRX potentially go? Well, some analysts think that TRX could jump up by as much as 70% in the near future if this breakout happens. But there's a bit of a catch. There's always a catch. What is it? Well, Tron already has a pretty big market cap, something like $13 billion. And when you have a market cap that big, it takes a lot more money to move the price by a large percentage. We'd need to see billions of dollars of new money flowing into Tron to really fuel a 70% rally. So what would need to happen for TRX to really reach its full potential? What are the big things we should be watching for? One of the most important things would be for TRX to get listed on those big US cryptocurrency exchanges. That would open it up to a whole new group of investors and could really boost the demand for TRX. Yeah, that makes sense. But didn't Tron have some legal issues with the SEC? Didn't that affect its chances of getting listed on US exchanges? You're right, there was a lawsuit filed by the SEC against Justin Sun and Tron but a judge recently ruled in favor of Tron saying that the SEC went too far. It's a huge win for Tron and could make it possible for them to get listed on US exchanges, especially if the judge makes it clear that TRX isn't a security. Yeah, that would be a major game changer. But even without getting listed in the US, there are other things that could push TRX higher. Definitely, things like more people using Tron for stablecoin transactions, the successful launch of that layer two solution for Bitcoin, and the overall growth of the DeFi space could all help TRX's price go up. So there's a lot of potential upside here. But like with any investment, there are risks too. What are some of the things that could hold Tron back or even make its price drop? Well, regulation is always a concern. The crypto world is changing so fast and governments around the world are still trying to figure out how to deal with it. 
there's always the possibility that new regulations could come along and hurt Tron. And then there are those technical risks. Right. Every blockchain platform can have bugs, glitches, and even security vulnerabilities. Exactly. And we can't forget about the competition. There are so many new blockchain projects popping up all the time. Tron is going to have to keep innovating and setting itself apart from the crowd to stay ahead. So yeah, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. But even with all the challenges and uncertainties, there's this real sense of excitement and optimism around Tron. It's a project that seems to love proving people wrong. It's centralized, but efficient. Controversial, but innovative. Driven by memes, but also has real world uses. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, it's a fascinating mix. So as we wrap up our deep dive into Tron, I think the main takeaway here is <laughs> don't underestimate Tron. It might not be the most flashy or well-known project out there, but it's quietly building something really important. It has the potential to shake up traditional finance, connect different blockchain ecosystems, and give people around the world more control over their finances. Make sure you visit BrianGarvin.com, that's Brian with an I, and get your free affiliate guide titled 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate, over 12,300 words of life-changing information. Simply submit your name and email and click the verification link sent to your email address. The link for this is in Brian's YouTube bio. Well said. And that brings us to the end of our deep dive into the world of Tron. Hopefully this has given you a better understanding of this really complex and interesting cryptocurrency. And remember, always do your own research, understand how much risk you're comfortable with, and never invest more than you can afford to lose. The world of crypto is full of opportunities, but it's important to be careful and think critically. Until next time, happy investing.